All right. Hey, everybody. Abe Fleischman, North Star Glassworks, sitting here with James Knox, uh, general manager of North Star Glassworks as well. Um, we just wanted to talk a little bit about our new product, the North Star Sluggers from the Future line. Uh, we know a lot of people have some questions about it. You know, right now is a hard time to come out with new experimental colors and regular rod. Uh, there's so much demand for first quality rod out there. We're so happy to see our artists and members of our community be successful. And we're stretching to meet every demand for the distributors to do that. At the same time, we have a lot of opportunities uh, to put out some exciting experimental glasses. And the sluggers are really the way that we can make that happen right now. Uh, it's a we're limited in, in how much we can produce. It uh, takes a lot of skill and know how to make, the, make this happen. And there's a very small uh, window to try to make it available for you. So we're doing our best uh, to try to uh, develop a new product line, hit and establish our quality standards for the glass that we want to put out to you. And this is our way of trying to make that experiment happen. Definitely. So obviously to the customers, they see us uh, releasing these sluggers. There's a lot of people having questions about why isn't it available in seven millimeter rod. Um, I know why. James, why don't we have it in seven millimeter rod? Well, as I said, a lot of people are successful right now. We're, we're struggling to meet the demands of our distributors and, and honor our commitment with them. And uh, we have the best team that we've ever had making our glass on the floor right now. And we are uh, just so proud of the efforts that they're putting in, um, but we're barely meeting the demand of our community. And that's such a great place to be in these days and times to recognize the success that's happening uh, out there in the world. And, and we wanna struggle to, to make that happen for everybody. We understand it's just not about the uh, limited supply, uh, you know, boutique colors. It's about the black and the white and the reds that really fill the catalogs of the people that are out there. These are the people that have the, the shops uh, that support their families uh, that make this happen. It's not just about the one-off piece. So we are committed to upholding our community and uh, trying to make sure that the North Star palette colors are always there and available for you to use. Agreed. At the same time, it's hard to put out new and exciting experiments uh, when that's your goal. So sluggers really are the way that we can do that right now. And uh, as we said before, it's, it's a really hard item to produce, so we can't make a lot of it. And as we're establishing what the quality uh, standards for that are going to look like, we just put out as transitional quality uh, glass and are allowing artists to, to feed back to us and uh, tell us the direction we're going with that. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, most of the time when we release new colors, we've had them in the SKU for anywhere from six months to three years, depending on what that color is, right? Um, the Sluggers, obviously, we think it's an exciting product. Um, knowing we can't make tubing right now, we feel like that could be another resource for the artists to use these Sluggers for blowouts, get those clean lines that they can't get with seven millimeter rod as well. Um, obviously, having only so much capacity to make our small rod, developing a new product line like the Sluggers that we feel is super exciting uh, for the artist. Um, let's talk about the colors as well, right? I mean, we've developed this new future line. Um, these are glass formulas that I feel are sort of like some of our greatest work, right? Over the years as we've made color and we've made glass from sand, we've made glass from cullet, we've done all these different things. Now we're at a place where we think we found something that we feel is just something so special, right? Just the formulation, the way the glass works for the artist. It doesn't boil. Um, it doesn't cause these sort of like differences in viscosities, right? The glass is a really true 33 COE. Now putting that into production, you know, that's where I think our struggles come, right? Is being able to produce enough glass to fulfill the need for the artist, right? Um, also trying our best, you know, North Star has always been, you know, we pri we've always prided ourselves, um, especially yourself, James, in having product available, always. Um, we've never played these sort of weird releases uh, that we overly hype things on purpose. You know, we, we've always tried to make sure the community always has an opportunity to get this product, right? Now with the Sluggers, we've Notice some artists, uh, you know, might be unhappy a little bit with us that we don't have enough. Um, that also falls into other resources that we're draining on to get the product out to the artist. 
you know, when we release these products, we set an amount that we feel the market's gonna absorb, right? Based on future releases of other colors. Obviously, we usually s sit around a certain number of pounds that we produce for, per color for new releases based on experience, right? Some are hotter, some are not. Obviously, we see with the sluggers, there's been a huge appetite that we never expected as well.